All right, guys, we're gonna go uh, take a spin on this just around the parking lot on this uh, Pitster Pro GPX TSC 250R. I just warmed it up a minute ago, but check out how responsive this thing is. Never ever seen a bike start so quickly and easily with an electric start. It's crazy. You don't even hear the motor turn over and it's already running. Takes a couple runs to clean it out after it's been idling on choke. Once you get into the grit, into the middle of the of the power band, it it runs pretty good. Brake work, brakes work pretty good. They work at least as good as my KX. Yeah, I mean, it's not as fast as a KTM 250 or 300, but it's not supposed to be. It's fast enough for 90% of the people I know that ride though Let's check out the uh, turning radius To me it feels at least as good as a beta It's not as good as a KTM, but nothing is Helmet's fogging up where I'm going so slow. I have to be honest, like I feel very comfortable in the cockpit, guys. The ergonomics feel like somebody set this bike up for me. It's just a little bit blubbery in first gear off the very bottom, but then once you get going, it's good. But yeah, like I literally feel like this is one of my Cowie motocross bikes I rode for years. It's got like the perfect bar height. I love that they put bars on with the crossbar instead of fat bars. That's something about it. Um, I don't know. These bars feel a little higher to me. I like it. The screen is bright enough. I can easily read that. I can easily see battery voltage. I can see the tack. Um, only problem I see at the moment is that the speed's not working, so gonna have to figure that out. Probably something behind the plate that didn't get hooked up because the speed and the horn don't work, so we'll check that out. I do think the hand guards look kind of funky. They seem like they they stick out a little, like they stick out forward a little bit more. But the bike doesn't feel, it doesn't feel as slender as a KTM, but it doesn't feel any wider than a Beta or a Yamaha or anything like that. So, Suspension feels fine. Like I was very skeptical of the suspension and obviously I can't get it out on the trail to really tell you but It seems balanced. 
It's not doing anything weird. It's not giving me any weird feedback. The shifting's pretty smooth. It's not a pankle transmission by any means, but it's as, it's as smooth as my Cowie. I dig it, guys. I really dig it. I mean, you're talking new, this thing's five grand. If you picked up one of these used for three grand that was a couple years old, you might have a deal there. I guess, I mean, if you're racing hair scrambles or GNCC and you want to, you want the best machine you can have, yeah, this is not going to be it. You. You want that KTM group, the KTM Husky Gas Gas. But if you're just play riding with buddies or riding with your kids or... I mean, this is perfect. I haven't, obviously haven't had them on dirt, but the tires didn't even feel that bad. The thing idles perfectly. Let's see how quick and easy it starts back up when it's hot. Kill switch off. Switch back on. Okay, I'm in gear, so let's see how it does. Wow, that don't touch the throttle. Just freaking barely blip it. Clutch pulled in, in gear. You can't ask for anything more than that. Um, obviously, it's a cable clutch, not hydraulic, but it does have a good feel. So, uh... <clears throat> I didn't put this bike together, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, take it back to the garage and pull off the number plate and see why the speed and the horn aren't working, but uh, I think this guy is going to love this bike, so I'm glad I got to ride it around a little bit before he picks it up, so thanks for riding with me, guys, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.